and this is a true um, unicorn right here, I think. I'm going to show you some comps right here. I don't think I have a comp that matches what we have. These are all pre-owned, and I've sorted them by price, so we're going to go up in price here. But This is at least 700 bucks. I think I might even list this for 1000 bucks, but I don't know. I got to do more research on this. All right, guys, this is the next day. Um, I got tired last night, and I'll, well, let's see. We got called away to do some other stuff, too. So um, didn't finish that box on camera. Finished it late last night when I came back, and um, not that much more surprises in there and a bunch of personal stuff near the bottom. But overnight, guys, I, I have been listing some of the stuff on eBay as I go. Some of it I'm putting in the auction room for whatnot. Some I'm putting on eBay. This... This is one of the items that sold overnight, and I'm just super surprised. I can't remember if we talked about it on camera or not. I just, sorry, I'm getting old. My memory's that bad, but even though it was just yesterday, did I film this? I don't remember, but these Trixie Belden novels, um, I don't know. I just had a hunch about that, and I looked them up, and they do sell for good money, right? So I put this on a complete set, one through 30, well, this is 37, but 30 whatever, sells for about 250. I have 25 books. So we have one through 10, then spotty after that. I put this for 99.99 so basically 100 bucks sold it overnight I'm really uh, happy about that. It excites me because that was the type of thing that like I would have probably just taken the half price books, but I have done well with sets of books and this isn't a complete run, but it is a, a lot or a set or whatever. I don't know if set's the right word, but it's not a run, but it is a lot. And I've had success with that before. So make sure you guys pay attention to this kind of stuff. Um, there is some potential there. And this time overnight sale, I think I priced a little bit low, but that's okay because this is kind of a big thing to put in my shelves over here. And um, it's also very heavy so i like to put big heavy items cheaper so they move quick a couple more sales too let me show you what they were okay here's the other here's two of the other items and um i'm showing you on the screen those are those um die cast vehicles that i listed those late last night it's one of the last things i did 100 bucks for that one and 100 bucks for that one here's here's what it looked like the listing and they photograph beautifully and they really are nice pieces just so dang cool cool looking stuff I had to show you on the screen because I did, this is how I pack them away. I, I bubble wrap them and then they have these cardboard sleeves. So I put them back in there and then I, I saran wrap them. I use this little plastic wrap right here. This stuff is great. That way they don't get scratched or damaged while they're in the boxes here. Cause I do get these up and down quite often as I sell items and add more items. So uh, we'll get that packed up and gone. I'll show you the next one. Next item was this one right here. It's the Diecast 007 James Bond car. These are stock photos. We didn't take it out of the box. This is ours. It was brand new in the box. Super cool piece. 100 bucks, man. 100 bucks. This is actually out of the, the first uh, purchase that we made from the guy's toy collection, the ones that came out of the storage locker. So this isn't out of the recent purchase, but still from this guy's collection, it's still paying out. And the last item that I sold, again, I, I packed it up and forgot to show it, uh, is this Fitbit Charge, the watch. Uh, we just found that yesterday, listed it, sold it for 50 bucks almost immediately. I knew I was pricing this a little low, but that's okay. I just wanted to sell quick. All right, so that's five items that sold, um, most of them overnight. The Fitbit watch sold a little bit earlier, but five items in the last 24 hours is 450 bucks. It's not too bad, guys, uh, but I listed a lot more than that yesterday. I listed a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff, so uh, my inventory is growing hopefully those sales continue to come in but you know how it is with ebay the more you list the more you sell and uh, ebay is kind of i don't really like it the way it works but that is the way it works so if you're stagnant on your listings you're not listing anything new your sales start to drop even though i have on uh, well, I now have over $100,000 of inventory listed on my eBay store. If I don't list anything, my sales will go down. It's the same items that are there and they're great items, but the sales will slow down because of eBay's little, the analytics that they use, their algorithms, whatever. Um, it, I, think it's, I think it's bogus that they do it that way, but it should be straightforward. People search for an item, you find it, but it doesn't work that way. If people search for an item, eBay will show the items for the most active users first and the inactive users later. So, so you got to have activity to make optimal sales but whatever um we're listing we're showing action we're selling so ebay's starting to pick up for us and that's just the way it works but man at least we're getting pretty decent prices for these items 450 bucks for five items not bad all right sales are packed up now it's time for some more unboxing oh yeah i remember this box okay so this got some interesting stuff um i put a lot of books in here that I need to look up and decide what you know where I go, what I do with them. There's some strategy guides for video games in here. He's had he had quite a few of those. Terminator Future Shock. Looks like a PC game. Perfect Dark Nintendo Power. That's a sealed book that might have a little collectability too. What is this? 1992 book book. 
Uh, this has just got like, it's like a price guide. Maybe a catalog book of some sort. Magic manuscripts, it's funny, horse and wolves. Um, I got a little bit of magic stuff over there. Collector's workshop. Hmm. It's more magic stuff, so. Ah, and that's obviously magic stuff. Okay. Indiana Jones illustrated screenplay. Oh, this is neat. This is very cool. This Temple Doom. Neat. I love that movie. Alright. Yeah, this is so neat. Oh, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then this. Script City, it says. From Hollywood. So this was uh, $25. It looks like it was bought in 1989. Or at least the credit card that was used expired in 1989. That is crazy. Bought so long ago and the paper does look old. North by Northwest. Alfred Hitchcock movie. Very cool. Okay. Screenplays have sold for us in our whatnot auctions in the past. Ooh, there's Jurassic Park Cinefix. That's probably worth a little bit more because of Jurassic Park. Cosby Show. Hmm. This could be a 1989 Manuscript here or script Man not manuscript script or whatever. I don't know. Hmm cool Cyborg oh, there's an old mad magazine. I had that as a kid Popeye. I remember that Okay, this is a like a graphic novel or something. I thought it was a magazine, but it's a it's actually a, like a comic book These are cool. Look at this guys Ghost Rider says number two. I do not know. I think did I show this before did I show this box? I don't think so but, um, oh, there's another cyborg book. These come on this card right here. Marvel Legends. I don't know if... Oh, it looks like maybe they came with the action figures. Maybe those are the things that come on the back of the display box when the action when you buy the action figure. That could be. We got a whole bunch of them. Fantastic Four. Submariner. Or Submariner. Another Fantastic Four. Iron Man. Okay, this is the screenplay for American Beauty right here. This, I think it's just a blank journal. Yeah, it's never been used, so... Blank journal. Mortal Kombat 2, strategy guide. The Art of Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Oh, neat. Dope. Alright. And then this right here. I didn't look in this yet, but obviously it says stamp album. Commemorative <clears throat> stamps. Oh, okay. There they are. 1974 here, guys. Yeah, 1974 mint set. This one. Oh, 1972. Yeah. Okay, this is cool. Cool, cool, cool. 1973. Those are quite nice. 100 different Greek stamps. Oh, wow, look, they're in there. Yikes. This is good. This is the best stamps we found in a little bit. Some astronaut stamps. Republic of Maldives, Hungary, I am actually, East Germany, Poland, USA Space, The Winds, oh, this is some, this is some neat stuff, okay, yeah, what's in this book, a little, little bit of stamps on there, yeah, partially filled out in this, partially completed, that's how I usually find these books, it's cool, there might be some good stuff in there, there's 1975 mint set, and... Lastly, oh, neat stuff from the Senate. Letterhead, I mean, uh, envelopes from the White House. Senate. He's an Eagle Scout, maybe. Eh. I might put this stuff back with his personal stuff. All right, next box. Next box. Okay, ooh, this is cool. Look at this old copy of The Hobbit. 1973. That's pretty cool. One, no, no. It's uh, 1974. 1974 on that. That's neat. All right. Then look at this. We got a couple of these old things. This is, uh, I think, also in French. A lot of stuff's in French for some reason. These right here. Pretty cool. Um, Nova. So, Mist. We have the old PC video game there. Oh, and then we got some old video games. The Essential Fantastic Four, Volume 1. Playing cards right here, heroes and villains. It looks like it's open, but I don't think it was. I think it just, the, the glue came apart. Oh yeah, oh yeah. More PSP, great. Oh, sealed brand new, sealed brand new. These, oh, Reservoir Dogs. Gosh, that was a good movie. It's a script, 
That's awesome. And the, the, the books, though, I don't think I meant to put in here. It looked like video games or movies or something. Look at this, guys. Sealed GameCube games. Wow. Sealed brand new. That's so, so awesome. Sealed PlayStation 2. Um, there's a PSP, no disc, so there's something that we would put aside. Try to find the loose one to match with it. I think we'll just get so much more for it that way. And it looks like we're going to have more empty DS games here. Or DS cases, rather. Alright guys, I've been going through all those games just to look them up, see if we got something exceptional, and I think we do. This right here, Time Splitters, I wouldn't even thought that, you know, and uh, it's even got the sticker. Check this out, this is the comp I found. The only comp that was a new condition comp right here, and my goodness, 150 bucks. Look at it's it looks like the same one, it's even got the same, uh, whoops, too close, it's got the same sticker on it, the same sales sticker right there, $13.99, that, that's weird that it's ex almost identical to that, wow, $150, bucks. i am going to look and just see what else is available for sale, see who my competition would be, this is new, $175, $150 in an, in an auction, that's kind of lame, $500, wow, $400, $200, $275, $450, my goodness, this is... I guess a rare game, but 175 is my my number one competition there. I'm gonna price mine at 150. All right, next uh, next box here, and we got some gardeners out there with blowers. So sorry about the noise. If you guys can hear that, the noise. Uh, Jack and Dexter PSP will probably have that a little Star Trek figure. It's gonna be I think a lot of randomness in some of these boxes. These kind of boxes I did, you know, I mentioned earlier that I went through stuff. I pulled out books. I pulled out garbage. I brought home only the good stuff. Boxes like this, I didn't do that. I just said, okay, that looks decent. Let's just bring it. This one's missing whatever was in there. It's like a little Bluetooth speaker or something. I think that's a little magic trick, perhaps. Ooh, got a little camera. Canon. PowerShot A4000. 16 megapixel. Ooh, yeah. That's going to be decent. It's got a card and a battery. That's very good right here. A little leather case too. The leather case is kind of nice. Needs to be cleaned up, but it's nice. Daily Bugle. It's a little newspaper from Superman. Not sure what this is. This is looks like Doctor Who. I think this is a DW, so it is a Doctor Who toy. Ah, look at this. Alien 1979 card pack. Ooh, I thought it was sealed. It is not, but that's pretty cool. This is another Doctor Who thing. Okay. Here's another one, Doctor Who. Another one of those same things here. Another PSP game. It's there this time. R Type Command. Okay, we'll look that up. Super Nintendo instruction book right there. Interact. I don't know. Twelve ninety nine. Eye exam. I think this is a magic trip, maybe. Mental photography deck, blank cards, develop like film. I'll put that with the magic. I don't know if it is, but okay, here we go. And Doctor Who Titans vinyl figures. Ah, I found that little this thing before the TARDIS or whatever, and that's what must come from one of these little things. Coin magic, a fantastic collection of amazing magic. 15 bucks, guys. Woo, yeah. Oh, yes. PS Vita. Sealed. This one's sealed. Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. This one's not, but... Yeah, it's not there. Alright. This one's good, though. We'll look that one up. There's some heavy-duty cables right here. $20 brand new. Another Doctor Who bag. Merry Christmas, Amazon. Ooh, I'm gonna see if that's got some money on it. There's a brand new Craftsman tool right there. Brand new. Seventh guest, disc two, and we might have the other one of that. That <laughs> looks like a Lord of the Rings ring in a ch plastic chain there. Oh, nice! We got the charger for the camera. That's that's actually kind of huge. Hey right, guys, that looks about it. I'll go through all this. See if there's any gift cards or something. There's a Best Buy store credit. Uh, yeah, we'll go through it. All right, next box, and I already peeked in this one. <laughs> Ooh, it looks good. Look at this, PlayStation 2, sealed brand new. Oh, yeah. Twisted Metal Black, that's, a, I think, a very good game. It used to be a very good game. I don't know about resale. I have a feeling that's going to be decent. This is another sealed. 
This is another sealed. All right. Sweet, guys. Wait. Metal Gear Solid 2. Okay. Huh. It's got two games in that, I guess. Um, this is good. Oh, GameCube. Excellent. Dang. Empty. So let me go through all these. I'll figure out what's uh, complete, what isn't, what's sealed, etc. All right, look at these comps here. This first one right here, 312 bucks, brand new. All right, that's that's pretty good. Then right here, immediately drops to $40, brand new. But see right here, this has got uh, Greatest Hits right there. It's got a red label. This is a black label. This one says Greatest Hits. That one doesn't. So I think this is like a reprint, basically. But what we have is a, a you know black label, not a reprint. For playability, I don't think it really matters at all. But for collectability, yeah, it obviously does matter. There's a couple Ratchet and Clank games, 500 bucks. Now here's uh, the same that we got right here, 50 bucks. It says brand new, but maybe it's not. There must be a reason that's so much lower. Greatest hits here, all right. Greatest hits, 50 bucks. Greatest hits, 58. Brand new. Greatest hits, 21. It's an auction though. Auctions are hard to take for comps because you, you know. It, you just may not have people looking for it. Okay, now look at this, guys. Graded right here. Graded. 9.8. Obviously, very high grade. $598. That's our game. That's our game. Here's another one. Same as ours. $275. $275. And that's the end of the comps. Just for giggles, let's look at what's available right now. This would be our competition. And we definitely only want to look at new. So greatest hits we don't care about. This is it. $335. This is it. $399. This a graded 1500, 129. Wow, that seems low. Let's see what the deal is here. No description from the seller, no photos. They have a stock photo. Um, maybe people don't like what they're seeing with that, whoops, th with this listing. Maybe that's why it's not selling. It seems awfully cheap. All right, well, not much competition other than that one. I'd say that's kind of a tainted listing because it's. I don't know, there's something fishy about that, in my opinion. But other than that, we're, we got some high comps here, over $300. All right, all sorted out, all good to go. These, unfortunately, all GameCubes, empties. Boo, PlayStation 2, empty. All right, that's the end of it. Hopefully, we find a binder somewhere with all of these games. There's quite a few. So I got a loose uh, PlayStation 007. I'll try to find the keys for that. Now, over here, we do have one DVD, Final Fantasy. I remember that being a pretty good movie, but that's just a movie, not a game. Uh, based on a game, but, but you know. These are PlayStation 2's uh, open right here, not new, not sealed. These, uh, I thought this one might have some value. It's about 15 bucks used. Uh, new, of course, I mean, sealed is much more. This one had some good value also metal, metal gear solid the one i think that one might be a 25 is not don't pay attention to the price tag right there it's just coincidence but i think this is 25 dollars used and then the rest of them here um anywhere from five to twenty dollars used okay over here more interesting these are sealed looks like they're all playstation 2 these range anywhere from like 10 to 25 dollars ish and um still great games this one i think is more like a 30 dollar game but all sealed brand new. Incredible. Now, over here, got a few. These are all sealed. I got a couple of GameCubes and mostly uh, PS2 games. These are in the $40 to $50 range. I did see some of them that if you get them graded, they're worth much, much more. I don't have any experience or knowledge in that regard, so I don't know what to look for, like this Robotech, for example. See a little lifting in the plastic there. A little foggy plastic overall, but no stickers or anything. Sounds like the disc is moving around. It probably popped out. Um, I don't know. I don't know what grade that would get, but all of these, I think, would be graded would be over 100 easy. Now, these right here are much better. These are $75 to $100 as is, all right? The X-Files is a very good game. I think that's actually 125 in this condition. All of these um, would also be much, much more if they were graded. But this game right here is the most interesting. PlayStation 2 Ratchet & Clank. Brand new sealed. Looks like you paid $40 brand new. So maybe I list this for $300. I don't know. Uh, like it is. Or maybe I look into getting it graded and sell it for double that. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, it sure is fun to learn about this stuff, though. All right, next box. And we're getting down on the boxes here. Get down. All right, mouse. That's kind of a weird cover, isn't it? Um, Is this even in English? No, it is not. Some kind of foreign... Uh, car uh, comic book cartoon thing here. All right, but then we got some Captain America. Nice A reprint. It says the or oh, I thought I said the original. It's the origin of Captain America. Genesis and Game Gear Strategies official Sega book there. 
Anything video game related, I'll put aside. This is a good sign, right? Mm, that's a movie. Oh, these are... Wait, okay, there's a PS2 games. Okay, that's very good, guys. Because we found all those PS2 cases. Not like a ton of them, but we have some PS2 cases. Smuggler's Run, Sky Odyssey. I don't remember those, but I wasn't paying that much attention. Fatal Frame, some horror thing. Primal, Dark Summit, Tribes. Yeah, this is cool. Good, 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 good. I'll put this with those ones we already went through. Try to match them up later. And there's the ElfQuest book. And uh, Jump Comic Selection. Some kind of manga book there. Lord of the Rings art book. This is interesting. Halo 2 official guide and it is sealed brand new. And this is from the original Xbox. 2004 it says. I thought that would be older but... Uh, I like that it's sealed. Cinefix, more Cinefix. This is great stuff, great stuff. Fortnite book. There's more strategy guides here. Grand Theft Auto and True Crime. These Cinefix books really do sell between 10 and up to $40 for some of the best ones. Maybe even better, but solid like 10 to 20 bucks per book. All day long, pre-owned. So this is good. Star Wars official figure collection. What? I don't know what this is for. Hmm. More Star Wars stuff. The American Way comic book. This is interesting. Pim Slur uh, language program Mandarin. These are compact discs. I think I may have looked these up. Oh, bummer. Missing the first one there. Bummer. Bummer Ruski. I think these are worth some money right here. Perhaps it was this one I looked at. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Bumming me out, man. I think these sell for decent money, but with a disc missing, it's not gonna not gonna be not gonna be a big seller. What's this thing? I don't know what that's for. Hmm. I don't see any markings on it. Alright, and we got a Hellboy comic book here. We have some other Hellboy books, so I'll probably put that with those. And then another Star Wars book. Ultimate visual guide. Nice. All right, I took a little break from uh, unboxing in the garage to get this piece out. I did look it up. It looks like it sells anywhere from 120 to over 200 brand new. I'm not sure why it's such a variation, but um, it's not terribly complicated. There's not that much to it, so 120 is not a big surprise to me. But that's brand new. This is uh, used, but barely, right? If they used it. It's been put together. It's a little dirty and dusty, but um, does not appear to be used. I don't see wear marks on it. So I listed on Facebook for 60 bucks. I got someone to offer me 50 and supposedly he's on his way. A couple more boxes to go of these boxes and maybe a little bit of other stuff, but Action Hero Comic Book Studio. What is that? Oh, it's, uh, that's right. It's uh, kind of encourages you to make your own comic book right there. Um, Probably go to the flea market with that. What's in here? Oh, that's right. So we have that zombie plaque, that reticulating uh, thing we call of duty zombies. This is uh, similar, but it's just a plaque with a laser beam. Same type of thing. Oh, it's Bungie Activision. Oh, what's that from? Halo or something? Ah, I think it's from Halo. That's cool. Okay. Behind the Mask of Spider-Man. Brand new sealed. Oh, another Star Wars book. Good. I think we'll lot all our Star Wars books up and sell them in the auction. How to draw comics. Big book of urban legends. That's a comic book. Okay. All right. Here's another Doctor Who piece. This is a trash can. I think I looked this up. I forget how much it was. Maybe 30 bucks or something. <laughs> Garfield stickers. Copyright on this is 1978. It's kind of neat. No, the Cinefix. Well, I just looked up the Cinefix just to refresh my memory. And they sell in lots of like 10 books for over 100 bucks. So getting a solid 10 plus for each book. Another Star Wars. Book, another Cinefix, nice. Oh yeah, this is Band-Aid, so 1989 right here. Some panel of cardboard that was cut out. Here's a graphic novel, Watchmen. Very cool. Star Wars Dark Forces, Soldier of the Empire. Okay, looks like an illustrated book. Frank Miller, Sin City, nice. Another Star Wars book. And this guy... Oh yeah, Led Zeppelin. 
Complete Studio Recordings 10 CD box set. I gotta look this guy up. All right, next box. Sega Genesis. Uh, we don't. I don't think we found much Genesis yet, have we? That's a good, good pickup. What's this? Oh, nice cross. Oh yeah, Ooh, those are beautiful pens. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Very nice. What else we got? Little game, flipping stack, acrobats. Where will you take them? What is this? I guess they're like postcards or something. I don't know. Photo cards, postcards. I don't really know what the point of this is. This is by National Geographic, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Then check this out, guys. Star Trek The Card Game. It's only five bucks. This sealed right here. Star Trek The Card Game by Fleer. 1996. That's all right. That's... Dang near 30 years old. And then here's some more. But these are sealed. I'm going to assume. Well, there's some that are open. But mostly it looks like sealed packs here. That's great. Indiana Jones. Nice. It's open, but... What year is that? 1984. Yeah. Another comic right here. Fantastic Four. And... Oh, this is another... I don't know if it's a magic, but it's puzzle. It's a puzzle, right? Pretty cool. Oh, there it is right there. Uncle's Puzzles. Magical Mystery Mental Manipulation. 1450 when it was brand new. That that looks pretty old, too. I'd say 80s or 90s on that piece. Holy smokes, look at this. $51 for the loose game. Oh, yeah. Oh, 90 bucks. Let's check it out with no manual. This one's new right here, 160 all right, well, geez, look at this. 195 bucks for pre-owned manual. Apparently the manual is worth some money, huh? Pre-owned 180, best offer taken. 150, best offer taken. Holy smokes, we got something good here. 95, no manual. Empty box for 40 bucks, whoa. Pre-owned 152, oh, dang. Yeah, there we go, manual. <laughs> it's a little dusty on the outside. Hot dang, that's a good one. Okay, next box here is not a computer, I'm going to guess, because it's not very heavy. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see Hot Toys. Superman. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what do we got? Huh. Huh. Oh, this is different. I haven't seen any boxes that are weird like this. Super cool, though, right? That's just a void fill. Superman the movie. Christopher Reeves, maybe? Yeah, Christopher Reeve. Oh, a memory of Christopher Reeve. Very cool. Oh, man, that's neat. Oh, wow, this is very realistic looking. That definitely looks like Christopher Reeve. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do... I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. Hopefully the glare is not killing the what you guys can see here. But it looks like it's got a very nice base in the background. It's got these crystals that look like they stand up. you got interchangeable hands and stuff this is a really really nice piece right here i think this is worth some money too let me see if i can get a cop on this no number though hot toys usually they have the numbers hmm all right i'll find it all right well you got okay i don't know why it's coming up with batman as a match that's not it but there's a base or something um this is it right here 550 best offer taken brand new which ours is Look at this, $95 for just the boots. Oh, that's funny. Okay, there we go. Oh, that look at that. That little funky base right here, or a funky piece, is for the display if you want to display it like that. $500. Bucks. There again is the boots for $100. Bucks. What's, I don't know what that's about. This guy's kind of missing the point right here. $450. Just the head right there, $55. Bucks. Huh. $471. Wow, we've got something good here. There's the base, $80. Bucks. That's what it looks like assembled. 444, similar to what we got, it's in the shipping box. Another base, 65 bucks. 50 bucks? Um, empty box only is 50 bucks. Unopened, 500 bucks. There's 650. Wow, guys. 550. 548. You know, I'm rounding off. Okay, guys, that's great. Okay, guys. Um. Oh, two more things. I was going to say, this is my last box. No, we have that too. Wow, it's hard to beat that last one, though. I don't think there's any $500 items in here. <laughs> this one, um... 
not this. Uh, his kids, I think, played with this, and the, he was going to throw these boxes away. Um, and he's having a hard time giving me boxes because they're moving, and they need their boxes. So I said, uh, well, um, I'll just take these. You're going to dump them. And he's like, oh, that'd be great. For some reason, I think this stuff here was intended to be uh, donated. He was going to donate, and he's like, hey, if you want to just take this stuff, uh, it'll save me a trip to the donation center. And I said, sure, um, no problem. I'll bring it to the market. And then when I was loading it, I was like, actually, this is some decent stuff, actually. Let's see what it is. White House Historical Association. Uh, there's an ornament with Kennedy on it. That's kind of neat. Oh, yeah, JFK, 2020. I'll put that aside. That's, that's kind of neat. This is just donation stuff here. Hmm. Kid tees. A little... Kid's hat, it's kind of neat. I'm not sure what these are for. I feel almost glass. I think those are glass. Oh, this is neat right here. Pop socket, phone grip. It's a Superman logo. That's cool. And this is not a Barbie. It's cheap. Whatever it is, doesn't even have a stamp on it. Che uh, very cheap, so I'm not going to... I'll pass on that. Who are the Celts? Is Data Human from Star Trek? And then, remarkably real-life story of Star Wars. Empire building. That sounds like a neat one. All right. There's a bag of cords. Wait, there's a little iPod in there. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. Okay, that's kind of neat. This little purse. What is that made out of, like, candy wrappers? That's cool. That's different. And there's some brand new shoes. Rock boards. Holy smokes. Good shoes. Brand new. Brand new, and he's going to donate those. And... I don't know what that is. Yubzy. Yubs. 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 Or yubs. I don't know what this does. Maybe I'll look it up real quick. But, um, that's... Yeah, what's in here? Paper. Okay. Multi-card reader. Right here. These are cool. Very handy. But this right here is what I'm after. Little iPod. That's cool. Got the USB charger. Speedo. I'm not sure what that is. Mm, maybe a little MP3 player. There's a brand new mouse. And a few Apple cords with the old wide connectors there. Not bad. Okay, next item. Or, or I'm sorry, last item. Last item, guys. This box right here, it's still sealed. It had his address on it. It was mailed to him. He's never opened it. It's got batteries in it, obviously. AT Games, and I think I remember him saying this is some video game in here. Video game system, video game console. I don't really know. Um, I just remember it said it was something to do with video games. So This was also one of those items that it seemed to kind of pain him to give up. So maybe it's got some value. What? What is this? Legends Gamers Pro. What the heck is this? Wow. Okay, almost. Jeez. It's heavy. Okay, this is not a lightweight thing. This is... This looks... <laughs> it looks like an arcade. It looks just like an arcade. Oh, man, it's actually pretty heavy. Yeah, Legends Gamer Pro. What is this exactly? I don't know. Let's look it up, guys. I have a feeling maybe perhaps this goes to some console, and this is some something you put on. Oh, it's got a roller ball right there, too. How cool. Um, power cord, so it's a powered piece. Look at the on button right there. Oh, what the heck? The on button lights up. Huh. So it takes batteries, too. Give me a second. What is this? Maybe it hooks to your TV. Oh, I think this thing right here hooks to your TV. It's got an HDMI. Oh my goodness. So this, oh my goodness, this is stinking cool. <gasps> okay, I gotta check out what this is. All right guys, last look at some comps today. For today, brand new, 140 bucks. Brand new, 180 bucks. 200 bucks. 190, 190, 190, 190, 150. All right, that's it. So um, yeah, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. All right, right now I'm watching a YouTube uh, with the guy demonst demonstrating this and it is exactly what I thought it was this little uh what they call like a hockey puck satellite thing there that hooks to your tv so it is completely wireless and uh apparently comes preloaded with 150 games classic vintage video games there and then you can connect to some online service to download new games as well 
Ah, uh, this is pretty neat. It, it definitely it definitely gives closer to that original arcade experience because it's uh, this is a heavy duty piece right here. All right, guys, that is cool. Um, that's almost like tempting to keep and play with and have some fun. Wow, but this this collection is a lot of fun, and I, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I don't even know how long this one is. I just know that it was taken in small chunks. As I go through the box with you guys on camera, after that, I try to find a place for all the stuff with it. That's going to go and whatnot. Get listed on eBay, go to the flea market, whatever it is. Um, I try to sort the stuff and deal with it right now. I listed a bunch of stuff this weekend, but or not not even this weekend. Today's Friday. <laughs> Feels uh, days all blend together at this point. Um, we're, we work seven days a week, really, right now. So, and I love it. But, um, anyways, fun stuff, great pickup, and I don't even know where I'm at with um, comps. You know, with the with the totals running up, but we only paid sixty five hundred dollars for this collection. Wait a second, I just remember something. I forgot to go through the comic book box. Oh my goodness. Okay. Comic books, comics, comic books. Yep, that's what it be. So just a reminder, this came out of uh, the stuff that I picked up just a couple nights ago. And this wasn't even part of the purchase. But he found a few more things when I was picking up the toys. I, I had asked him, you know, hey, do you have any uh, comic books? I just, I love comics, you know. And he says, eh, we might, you know. I think I already talked about that. But this box he found and put aside for me and said um, that these were his books from, you know, childhood or being a young man he's not that much older than me so um these are also books of my childhood probably there's captain america and the falcon number 180 little bent on the corner there yeah that's interesting mighty avengers this might have some value right here too this holiday grab bag some of these big ones um they're a little bit valuable some of them we found before surprisingly look at this this is a fantastic four in another language it does not have a glossy cover, which I've never seen that before. Not on a like a main production. I don't see a date on this. I think it's German or something. That's interesting. Giant size Captain America number one, 1975. That's interesting. Wow. Wow, these are looking good, guys. Um, I know comics aren't for everybody, so... Oh, man, look at this. The dude with the swastika on his chest there. They can't do that anymore on comic books. This looks old. Marvel Tales number 29, Omega the Unknown, Omega number 2, Omega number 1, Liberty Legion, these are all 25 cent books right here. Alright, you know what, let's just take a peek in here. Oh yeah, super villain team up right here, number 1. He told me that, he goes, yeah, there's an Inhumans number 1 in there. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. It's not that valuable, but um, it's cool, it's just not that valuable, so... Conan the Barbarian. Got a bunch of them here. Yeah, this is some good books, guys. I think. 20 and 25 cent books. This is excellent. I can't believe he just threw these in. I mean, if he said, hey, give me another three or 400 bucks for this box, I would have been like, yeah, okay, yeah, you know. Ooh, what? Iron Fist number one? Could that be worth... Okay, I'm going to have to look at that. That might have some value. In Humans number two, Avengers 91. 15 cent book right here. Rough shape, but this... Uh oh, this is interesting. Really bad shape on this, but Crypt of Shadows number one. Some of these old horror books have some value. Defenders, Avengers, Defenders. Oh my, 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 my. Oh wow, guys, look at this. Is this all amazing Spider Man's? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, we got a, a reverse run here 141, 140, 39, 38. 37, 36, 35. I don't know if there's keys. This, I think, is the first time of, of the first appearance tarantula. I think. Hmm. 33, 32, 31, 30. Oh, crap. <gasps> what? This is first appearance Punisher. And of all the books, this one is like the best condition of all the books we've found so far. <laughs> all right, missing 128. There's 127. 126. Oh my god, I'm getting short of breath right now. This is crazy right here. Let's go look at the value right now. Here's some decent comps right here. So this graded at 8.5, sold for $2,000. And this one graded 9.4, which we do not have a 9.4. That's $4,000. 5.5, which we definitely have a 5.5. 5. We have way better. 12.50. I have a feeling this one's going to grade around the 8.0, maybe lower. 5.0, 4.5. Guys, this is, this is actually probably better than $1,000. This is 6.0, 1250 If you guys remember, I found that book 
and um the collection that i bought the garage sale at a garage sale it was actually not a garage sale i bought out their garage sale before they had the garage sale and um found that book but it is in really rough shape really rough shape and this one's in better shape oh my goodness this is a uh, fantastic actually it's amazing <laughs> all right guys i'm I'm making the decision to stop the video here because look at this. We've barely even started on this box and this easy, easy thousand dollars like quick. I should be able to sell that for a thousand quick. I'm going to get some of my friends to input on this. I got some guys that know a lot more about comics than I do. Like I know barely anything about comics. Really, I know this one so well because we recently found it. But um, I just looked up real quick. We have other key books in here. Decent books like between 100 and 200 dollar books that we just showed. And um, I got to take my time on on this grace is singing tonight in the have a spring concert at her school she's singing so i actually have to leave um jana and the girls are already gone so i have to leave and go there to do that i don't want to rush through this and i don't want to continue this tomorrow really i want to take my time on this and i know all not all of you like comic books some of you really like comic books like as much or more than as i do but um i'm gonna cap right now and then i think we might even just do a standalone video on this box because i think it's worth it all of a sudden this is turning into one of the best comic comics finds that I've ever had and we barely what maybe tap 10% of this box maybe the rest is garbage maybe it's all Richie Rich in there I don't know but um or Archie you know it's who knows but we're gonna find out but so far so good we know this guy liked superheroes and he liked Marvel so Man, I'm, my my adrenaline is pumping right now, guys. Really, this is such a thrill for me. Of all the stuff we found today, that, that's the most expensive, and this is the most exciting for me, and it was also free. Uh, the guy just gave it to me basically as a gift. I'm, I'm blown away right now. I'm blown away. All right, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this wasn't too long, but great stuff. A lot of fun, and I don't think I'm going to do the whole collection in this much detail and at this length. But um, we're gonna do we're gonna do a good portion of it because the guy had a special collection. He has some really neat stuff, and I think it deserves to be shared. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Video next video will be out soon. Till then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock of Nuts. Yeah.